Alright, let's get started on the Abinogi. So today we're going to do event stuff, and then we're going to, uh... Do a little thing of... Saga Episode 7, I think we're on? And then after that, we'll do some commerce, and then we're going to talk about the... Dragon Guardian box Scotchapon that came out last Thursday. That's going to be at the end of the stream. So we're going to go over the items in there, see what they... We're going to preview them in-game, see what they look like, uh, see how much they're going for in the auction house, and just overall having a look at the Gachapon and deciding whether or not it actually... It actually looks like it's worth the money or not. So, event stuff first. So, dungeon clears. We need to do that today. Let's clear out any expired items. So let's go to uh, Dunbarton first, I think. Can I get any passes from the NPC for dungeons and shadow missions or not? I don't know if we can claim passes from her daily or if that's like a once a week thing. Find out. Okay, once a week or something like that. Okay, well, I do have these shadow mission passes, so we'll be alright. Let's go to uh, Tara. We'll do Shadow Cast City three times.
Oh wait, and you're already 108. Um, when can we rebirth? In an hour. Okay. Actually, what I think I'm going to do is we're going to do this shadow mission one time and then we'll go ahead and do some saga stuff and then we'll come back and finish the event stuff when we can rebirth. Summon a pet to collect all that gold. Go ahead and pick that up.
Okay, next group. And done. Okay, cancel the summon and we'll do the other two counts. Once we can rebirth. Okay, so let's get started on the next Saga episode. I wonder if we're actually on episode 7 like I think we are. Maybe we finish that one out now. Uh, we're somewhere around there, though. Oh, crap. We're a little bit further along than I thought. We're on episode 9 next. Or episode 8. Oh, okay, episode 8. This is this. This is the, um. prologue. Okay, so we have. Holy Land, the sacrifice. Let's get started.
also we want to talk to Akul at the Konis Oasis. Here it is, first mana tunnel at the top of page four. And there he is, you can see him from here, right over there. Okay, so after that cutscene, talk to Al Cool again. Okay, obtain the materials from Hill and Mine and Physis. Bills, Hill and Mine, Bottom Mana Tunnel, page 8. Okay, so I wasn't really paying attention to what materials he was asking for specifically, so really quick I'm going to have a look. Okay, so he wants three emerald cores, so... 
We get those by defeating the golems down here. Let's go to floor two, I guess. Floor one doesn't have any monsters at all, and these floors two and three do. Okay, there's them rogue core. We need uh, two more. All right, fine. Go ahead and collect some gold. So here's two of the emerald core we need. We need one more. I need to clear these guys out. Okay. It was three, right? I just want to make sure I don't have to come back later. Yeah, okay, three. And then ten mutant rabbit feet. So for the mutant rabbit feet, we need to go to the uh, Shyland Nature Reserve. And those can drop from the uh, mutant rabbits in there.
So what about this area? Uh, let's try District 1. Yeah, here's some mutant rabbits. Let's see how much one charge can do. Oh yeah, that should be enough. There's the first mutant rabbit foot, nine more to go. At least these guys are pretty easy. The second one, we need eight more. That's number three. A little bit of our MP back. That's number four. There's five, six, seven. Let's make sure my count is right. Yeah, seven. Where's that other one? Uh, did the item vanish? Oh no, wait, here it is. Ten. Uh, that should be ten, right? Yeah. Now let's go back to the oasis. Okay, we do have the materials. 
Uh, let's take a look here. Oh, talk to Shamala near the entrance of the Hillman Mines. I better not have to get these items again. Okay, uh, Hillman Mine. I don't think we'll have to gather them again. And she is way over here. Yeah, it's just deliver the items. And you can even buy these things from the auction house if you want to save time. I think it took us maybe about... About 10-ish minutes to gather all the materials. Maybe a little bit less. Then to the Shyland Nature Reserve. And she should be right over here. Yeah, there she is. Alright, now we can complete that. And next quest. Premeditated possession. So talk to our cool. So now we go back to the oasis.
Okay, well we have the chance, let's charge up our spells. Hey, we got the giant headless transformation. Okay, that quest's done. What's next? Preparing for war. Talk to a cool. And that quest is done. And recruiting reinforcements. Okay, so talk to Casnia and Philia.
so next we have to talk to Krug in Vales. So page eight. And next we need to go see the Queen at the uh, Royal Castle, so... What is that, page four? Last uh, Moongate down. We use the scooter because it's faster. Oh crap, I meant to Tara, not Tara Castle. I'm looking for page five. Tara Castle, third one down. There we go. So she should be in here. Okay, so this is an RP mission.
Okay, that mission's done. Okay, next we gotta talk to Admiral Owen, so to Belvast. Okay, RP mission, so really quick, let's see. My skills are in the wrong spot. Let's go and put that there, that over here. Do it. But does Xeno spell lock or anything like that? No, okay. Distance. Come on over here. Yeah, you're out of range over there. And we don't know Ice Spear. There we go. Okay, hit this one. Oh, 
Oh, he does no shock. I'll actually put that one... That shockwave one on three. Okay, over here. Oh, there's one more of them. And now we can complete that quest. And on to the next one. Rena's infiltration operation. So talk to Akul at the uh, Coracle Tree Mark, so let's see. We're over here. Okay, let's talk to him. Oh, okay, so this is an escape mission. I think. Wait, which way do we go? I don't remember which way I run. I don't think I'm supposed to run towards Zerari, though. Dark. Okay, um, I gotta do that over again. <laughs> oh, okay, so I'm supposed to, like, get close. Okay, so I am supposed to go this way. And remain undetected. So I probably actually need to talk to Rari then.
All right, and that's it for Saga Episode 8. So really quick, I'm going to let the credits roll and I will be right back. Okay, so we're going to get, uh, go ahead and get started on episode 9, Fate's Design, The Stand. This is a pretty short episode, there's a lot of fighting in it, but there's only three little things. So I'm not sure how quickly we'll get done with this one. Okay, let's pull up the game. And let's go ahead and open up our Saga Episode 8 box. We get a Saga viewing coupon and an AP coupon thing. And what else? The complete saga box. So this gives us a AP pot, which will grant us 20 AP. And yeah, let's start episode 9. We're almost done with this. I don't know if I need to finish the um, prologue or not to actually count this in Blanid's memoir. In one of these, I know you have to finish either the, one, one of the prologues. I don't remember which one, but one of them you can skip. Okay, Fate's Design, The Stand.
Okay, the first quest, the Council of War. So talk to Odrin at the Southern Pira Volcano in Sardine, okay. Southern Pira Volcano, let's see. So right around here. So I use the Pira Volcano Valley Mana Tunnel. And that's, yeah, that's actually pretty close to where they are. I think it's the closest Mana Tunnel. Wait, which way am I running? Yeah, well, they're not pursuing me right now. Let's equip some skills, just in case I need them. Might be a good idea to have this equipped, just in case. And talk to Odrin again.
and talk to Shamala. Alright, and the first quest is done, so there are two more left. Decoy operation. Talk to Odran again. Uh, yeah, I don't like all my skills like this. Wait, defense is actually in the right spot. Crap. Okay, so these other guardsmen do nothing. Oh, uh, items. Let's go ahead and use that. We do have some potions. Okay, talk to Maki. Thank <laughs> you. 
that spot. That there. Put this one here. Put this over here. Why does my final hit keep getting cancelled? Come on, use it already. If you have final hit, then actually use it. Okay, now he's not taking any damage. What's going on here? Okay, final hit doesn't do anything with an elf, I guess. All right, next we talk to Daura. Oh, is this her RP mission? This one's tough. I might fail this one a few times. This is probably one of the most difficult RP missions in, like, all of Saga 1. Okay, really quick, I gotta rearrange all my skills, because nothing... I can't do anything with all this. This is all crap. If I do this on my first try, I'll honestly be impressed. Yeah, let's put that there. I guess we can use that, maybe. Um, what else do we have? How about that? Uh, do you have the counter one too? Yeah, go ahead and use that. Okay. The heck do you two think you're doing? Get out of here. No, get out of here. Piece of crap. Alright. It's not these guys I'm worried about.
Jeez. Heavy items, yeah. Let's use that speed potion. Okay, there we go. Uh, that's done. Okay, last quest, Revelations. Okay, talk to our cool. Okay, so these guys...
All right, episode nine is done. We're gonna try and finish episode ten today, I think. Why not wrap up all of Saga One today? Wasn't really counting on that, but since we're so far along, we might as well. I don't remember how long episode ten is though. Let's complete that. And now we have our episode nine box. So more AP coupons and more saga viewing coupons. Let's use some of these AP coupons. So we get seven AP from that. Here's that complete saga box. And another AP pot, this will give us 20 AP. Alright, really quick, I'm going to pull up the information for episode 10 and then we're going to get started. Okay, yeah, so we're almost done. Like, episode 10 is just a little bit of combat here, and then this is just talking to people. So we're just tying up loose ends. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. So Saga 1, Episode 10, Divine Fury, The Advent. Okay, so now we have the quest, the final battle. So, let's see. I guess we just talked to our cool here. Let's go.
Oh, that's great. Oh yeah, this is a transformation I can get. But I forgot if I already got those guys as a transformation, did I? I don't remember. It's, uh... Oh yeah, we did. We got them in like Gen 12 or something. Because they were at the, uh, they were at that place. Okay, so we don't need to worry about collecting points on these guys. And we're going in again. Oh. Can you zoom out a bit? Where'd you go? I see you over there. 
teleporting around. Oh. Oh, okay, that was a decoy. Ah, crap, she lured me right into that. I forget how low I have to get her HP. There we go. All right, she's done. Then nothing happened. So talk to Odrin.
And then we need to talk to our cool in the land of the shamans, so we need to go to the Laterra Highlands mana tunnel. Finally, almost some of this. Okay, which ones are cool? This one? Here we go. Okay, talk to Shamala. Alright, then with the first saga thing. So now we have the saga episode 10 box. Which has more saga viewing coupons and more AP coupons. A complete saga box that gives us our 20 AP. And then we also have the saga's end box. And we get a pot that gives us 100 AP and we get a Pegasus whistle. All right, so that's done. Let's make sure it's actually done in the chapter thing. Yeah, okay. So let's see if we can actually pass this. If if we can't pass this with uh, Blanid, then that means we have to do the prologue. Here she is. Okay, start a conversation. Okay, so yeah, we do need to do the prologue for this. I think it's the prologue of like Saga 2 that you can skip then or something. Because if we take a look at our memoir, we're still... Oh wait, I, I actually don't know. Uh, maybe I should wait on that. I, I need to finish Gen 15 and 16 first, so yeah, that makes sense. So I guess we'll start working on Gen 15 maybe later this week or early next week, I'm really not sure. It probably wouldn't take too long to get both these done. 
depending on how much I want to work on them. Uh, since we still have to run that, we, uh, we have to clear two more of those dungeons, so let's go ahead and uh, rebirth, and then we'll go ahead and do that shadow mission two more times. So let's see here. Rebirth. So let's go to Tara. Shadowcast City.
Okay, this mission's done. And one more time. Shadowcast City. Okay, there's the Shadow Ghost.
Yeah, it's leather. I thought it was gold. Wipe out all these clones. Okay, now let's get to Philia. We're going to get ready to talk about the uh, Dragon's Guardian Box Gachapon. So let's unequip that for a second. We'll take off these knuckles. The dream catcher there. All right, I'm going to get ready to uh, talk about the uh, dragon's guardian box scotch upon. So we're going to start reviewing that in about Two or three minutes.
Okay, so today we're going to have a look at the Dragon Guardian box. So the Scotch Upon came out on Thursday, April 13th after the maintenance, and it's going on until Thursday, May 11th before the maintenance. And each box comes with a combat times two EXP potion, which will last for 10 minutes when you use it. And one item from the list here. So this Scotch Upon has a lot of special wings. These wings have four different diable parts, A, B, C, and D. And these wings have... There are five pairs of wings that have these special effects, so attack delay minus 0 0.20, magic attack plus 13, max damage plus 7, movement speed goes up by 2%, and it shows you the diable parts on the wings right here, which is kind of cool. I do like how they actually show this here so you can see all the parts that are diable. And then next we have the special distinguished Dragon Guardian Wings and the special Noble Dragon Guardian Wings going from left to right. So the red ones are the distinguished ones and the uh, Noble ones are the black ones and they only have three diable parts, B, C, and D. And then these ones have the same diable parts too, B, C, and D. So these wings are the special resplendent and dragon guardian wings and the special sublime dragon guardian wings. And then last we have just the special dragon guardian wings, which only has... Uh, which are only enchantable, they don't have the special effects like these other ones do. So let's see, one, two, three, four, yeah, five, five special pairs of wings that offer like all of this. This sixth pair is just enchantable, it's not, it doesn't have those special effects. And then these wings are just for show. So they don't have any special effects and they're not enchantable, so they're just the average prize. And then we have the special outfits and accessories. So we have the special, from left to right, we have the special dragon guardian outfit for male. And then we have the special dragon guardian outfit for female. These outfits do actually look kind of cool. I mean, like, I'm not really after these outfits, but I, I do like them. They do look, uh, they, they both look really good. And then there are also the accessories that come with it. So there's the normal dragon guardian outfit for male and female that doesn't have the idle animation. And there's... The uh, Dragon Guardian Talons and the Dragon Guardian Shoes for male and female. I don't think the idle animation is that great, but I can understand why people would want the uh, special outfits anyway, because if you have the special outfits, then you can apply any special idle animation to this outfit, so... I can see why some people would still want the special outfits anyway. And then we also have face accessories. So there are two new face accessories with this. So from left to right, we have the imposing dragon wing headpiece. And then we also have the virtuous dragon horn headpiece. So these look all right. I'm not sure which one I like more. And then we also have two weapons. So there's the subtle 
Sintamini, I'm probably saying that wrong, two-handed blunt weapon. This actually looks pretty cool. With a little dragon going around the orb or whatever. And then we have the Dragon's Broken Sword Appearance Scroll. So this one's an Appearance Scroll for that sword. And then this one isn't, this is just a weapon. And the Appearance Scroll for the sword can be used on a one-handed sword. And then we have uh, two Spirit Liquor transformations. So we have the... Fire Dragon Spirit Liquor, and which is the one on the left. So that has the white dragons with like the orange auras around them. And we also have the Shadow Dragon Spirit Liquor, which looks like a bunch of shadow dragons go moving around the shuriken there. So these Spirit Liquors look pretty cool. I think I like the Shadow Dragon one more. And then we also have the subtle Sintanami uh, figure. So this is the same. This looks the same as the uh, blunt weapon we saw earlier. It's just for your homestead. And this will give magic attack plus eight and critical plus four percent. And then we also have the dragon's broken sword figure, which gives max damage plus 8, and critical damage, plus 4. So you can put these on your home set if you want. We'll be checking the price on these as well. And last, let's look at items and rates, and then we'll check out some of the stuff in-game and see if it's worth it or not. So you should always check the items and rates. It's this small button right here. So here is the full list of items currently available from the box, along with the rates. Please note that this, the displayed percentages are rounded and not the total sum of all rates and may not add up to exactly 100%. So the wings with the most sizable parts, that was the first pair of wings uh, that has those uh, bonuses. You have a 0.05% chance of getting those. And then there are four other pairs of wings that also give all those effects. So one, two, three, four. And you have a 0.07% chance of getting any of those four pairs of wings that boost your movement speed and magic attack and whatever else. And then the 0.09% special Dragon Guardian Wings, those are just the enchantable ones. They don't have the movement speed buff or the magic attack increase or the uh, attack delay reduction like the other ones do. And then these wings that you have a 0.14% chance of getting are just for show. So I assume these can't be enchanted and they don't really do anything. They just look cool. And you have a 0.14% chance of getting these special outfits. So that's for the special Dragon Guardian outfit male and the special Dragon Guardian outfit for female. And then you have a 0.21% chance of getting the uh, non-special outfits, the ones that don't have the idle animation. And then you have a 0.28% chance of getting the accessories that go with the outfits, like the Dragon Guardian Talons for male and female, and the Dragon Guardian Shoes for male and female. And you have a 0.23% chance of getting the Virtuous um, Dragon Horn Headpiece and the Imposing Dragon Wing headpiece face accessories. So you have a pretty low chance of getting the dragon's broken sword figure and the subtle syntonomy figure. 
only a 0.07% chance for those. For the actual blunt weapon, the subtle syntonomy uh, thing, you have a 0.23% chance of getting that, and you have a 0.23% chance of getting either the Shadow Dragon or the Fire Dragon uh, Spirit Liquors. And you have a 0.28% chance of getting the uh, Dragon's Broken Sword Appearance Scroll. And then everything else below this is all just filler items. So these are from old, um, old gotchas, old events, things like that. So. Yeah, those are the items and rates. So be sure to take a look at that before you buy any gotcha pawn. And now let's actually jump in the game and let's start taking a look at some of the things that are in this gotcha and we'll see how much gold they're worth and we'll see how much um, and we'll see what they look like. We'll preview them. Okay, so first we'll have a look at the outfits. So we'll have a look at the special Dragon Guardian outfit for male first, since I can actually pre preview that one. So this one's going for about 25 mil. There's one for 25 mil, 35 mil, 24 mil, 900,000, 25 mil, 26 mil. So yeah, 25, 26 mil, something like that. Might be 27 mil. Let's see what this looks like. So that's what the outfit looks like on my character. And let's make the background darker. So yeah, the outfit looks okay, but if I were to get this outfit, I would equip a different idle animation to it, probably. So now let's have a look at the uh, special Dragon Guardian outfit for female. Okay, this one's way higher, but that's to be expected. I can't preview this one, but we saw what it looked like on the page. So this one is going for over 100 mil in most cases. There's one for 75 mil. I wait a little while longer for this one to drop. Maybe until like early May, right before the gotcha ends. Uh, 75 mil seems like it's a bit expensive. I think like this outfit should probably go down to 60 mil at least. I think 75 mil is a little too much for this outfit. I can see it being 60 mil or less, but I I think um anything higher than 65 mil is too expensive. As for the male outfit, the male outfit price is kind of high, but at the same time, it's like between 25 and 27 mil. It's not that bad, especially for a special outfit that has an idle animation that's really new. Uh, that price may or may not drop later on. I don't know, but so far it's the better deal. And... As long as the outfit is under 30 mil, I don't really have any complaints about it. So now let's have a look at the normal Dragon Guardian outfits and see like how much they're going for without the idle animation. So 
so you can find the uh, Dragon Guardian outfit for female for five mil, four mil, nine hundred thousand. So around five mil gold. That's not too bad. It means you can't have an idle animation with it, or you can't equip an, uh, another outfit's idle animation to it. But there are still ways to give it an idle animation. Like there are some weapon items that you can hold that have their own idle animations built in. And you can use something like that to give the outfit an idle animation if you really want to. And yeah, I don't have any problem with five mil. That's perfectly fine. What about the male version? And the male version is going for about two, two and a half mil. There's one for two mil, 250,000, one for two mil, 400,000. There aren't many. There aren't too many of them without the idle animation. But yeah, it's about two, two and a half mil. So that's half the price of the um, Dragon, Garden out uh, Dragon Garden Guardian outfit for female. So that's not too bad. No objections there. Okay, let's move on. Let's uh, check out. Let's go ahead and check out the face accessories next. So we'll look at the imposing dragon wing headpiece next. Let's actually preview this. Yeah, I can't really say if I like the way it looks or not, but I'm not going to complain about the price. It's going for about a mil. Most of them are 900,000 or one mil. And this one's going for one mil, 800,000, so close to two mil. That's not bad. I mean, anyone can make two mil, even fairly new players can easily make uh, two mil. It doesn't take too long. So, yeah, I have nothing. I have no objections to uh, the price for this face accessory. Let's go ahead and look at the uh, virtuous dragon horn headpiece. I'm not seeing it popping up in the search. Uh, let's go ahead and do a ordinary search then. So we'll go to accessories, face accessory. Let's see if it's on the pages here. There's the imposing dragon wing. Oh, here we go. Okay, so the Virtuous Dragon Horn headpiece is a little bit more expensive. It's going from 5 to 7 mil. And let's see what it looks like. I think this face accessory looks better than the other one, honestly. 
And this one was dyed black. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, overall, five or six mil isn't too bad, especially since I think this one looks a little bit better. So yeah, six to seven mil. Yeah, that, that's not too bad. I think eight mil, eight, eight mil or more would be, would be uh, pushing it a little bit, but overall, um, overall, this is an okay price, and the face accessory doesn't look too bad. And next, let's have a look at the weapons. So we'll have a look at the uh, subtle Sintamini uh, weapon first. Uh, let's go see. I may have spelled it wrong on my notes. No? Oh, here we go. So this weapon is going for about 9 mil, 10 mil, 30 mil, 10 mil, 50 mil, 100 mil. Let's go ahead and see what this looks like. Oh yeah, it has that fire effect too, that's nice. This is actually a pretty cool looking weapon. But it is just for show. It's just for the idle animation thing. Like, it's not that strong and it can't be enchanted. It can't be upgraded. It can be dyed. Let's see how it looks when it's dyed like this. Oh, that's kind of cool. If you dye it the right colors, you could probably make it look like a Dragon Ball or something. So I can see how this is uh, pretty cool just to kind of collect it. Uh, yeah, 10 mil is perfectly fine. I think 30 mil is kind of pushing it a little too far. 50 mil is definitely overpriced, but 10 mil is perfectly fine. I would even say like 15 mil would be all right or even 20 if you really want it. But I, I would say anything higher than like 15 mil would probably be um, overpriced for this item. I don't think it's worth any more than that. Okay, now let's have a look at the uh, dragons. Broken sword appearance scroll. Here we go. So this one is considerably cheaper. Um, it's going for about four and a half mil, five mil, six mil, four and a half mil, five mil, six mil, six mil. So yeah, between four and a half to uh, six mil. Let's have a look at it. Uh, do we have one in a, another color? That one's more red. Yeah, no, it looks okay. I'm not sure I'm a huge fan of the way it looks. But five or six mil is not that bad. That's a, That's an okay price for that.
Okay, next we have the big list to go over. We have the wings to go over, so let's look at all the wings. All the special wings. So we'll look at the wings that you have the lowest chance of getting first, the ones that have the most viable parts. The special ancient dragon guardian wings. So all of these are going for over 300 million gold. They're all like 400 to 450 mil. Let's preview them and see what they look like. They look cool. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, these wings look pretty cool. But it's it's not worth buying on the auction house. Not for that price. I I mean, like, if you're after the effects the wings offer, like the attack delay, the magic attack bonus, and the movement speed bonus, you're better off probably going for the other ones. Let's take a look at the other ones. And the other ones are exactly the same. They just have, like, less viable parts. So, special distinguished dragon guardian wings... So these ones are going for a little bit less. They're going for about 280 mil to 300 mil. Honestly, these wings look about the same to me. Appearance-wise, I can hardly tell the difference. And again, they offer all the same special effects that the other ones do. But yeah, that price is still a little high. Uh, special... Let's look at the uh, Noble Wings next. Special Noble Dragon Guardian Wings. So it looks like the price is slowly just getting lower and lower. So these ones are worth 275, 245, and 300 mil. So this is the lowest price. Yeah, these wings look all right. I mean, they're still dyeable. You can dye them. But they're still pretty expensive. I wonder which one's going to be the cheapest. Okay, let's look at the uh, special resplendent uh, Dragon Guardian Wings next. You're there. Uh, these ones are a little expensive, so they're going for 260 mil to 300 mil. These look pretty cool, actually. I think I like the way these ones look the best so far. I like that blue. And again, these ones are dyeable and they have all the same set item effects that the other ones do.
And the last wings with special effects are the special Sublime Dragon Guardian wings. So let's have a look at those really quick too. So these ones are going for about 300 mil. So currently, I think like buying any of these wings for gold. And I, I mean, I, I don't intend to buy any of these wings for gold. They're kind of expensive. And even if you play the Gachapon itself for actual money, uh, the chance of getting these wings are is insanely low. So I'm not going to risk that. I think the uh, which ones were they? Were they the distinguished or the noble ones? No, they must have been the noble ones then. Because it wasn't the first pair. Special Noble Dragon Guardian Wings. Yeah, so out of all of the wings that have the uh, attack delay reduction, magic attack increase, and max damage increase, and movement speed increase, the Special Noble Dragon Guardian Wings are the best deal at the moment because... The uh, ones going for 245 mil are currently the cheapest ones on the market. Personally, that's still way too much gold for me to ever spend, but this is the best deal currently on the auction house. And finally, let's take a look at the homestead items and see what they're being priced for. So we'll have a look at the uh, subtle Sintamini figure first. And this one's going for 50 mil, 50 mil, 100 mil, so 50 to 100 mil. So this can be placed on your homestead. And it will give you plus eight magical attack and uh, plus four critical damage. I think 50 mil is a little expensive for this. I would like to see this drop down to around 20 mil. Hopefully. I'm sure it will over time. But at the current price, I wouldn't buy it. And then last, let's look at the dragons. Broken sword figure. And this one's going for 50 to 60 mil. So this one's even more expensive and it gives you uh, plus eight max damage and plus four uh, critical damage. Let's go ahead and preview that. Oh, here we go. So you can just have this like floating in your homestead. I mean, again, it looks cool, but I still think like for homestead items, it is kind of expensive. So 
So I would like to see this one drop to at least 25 to 30 mil maximum. So yeah, that's some of the items that you can expect to find in the Dragon Guardian box. I don't really have any plans to play the Scotch Pond myself, and I don't really have any plans to get any of the items from it. Mostly because I'm not really interested in many of the items, and the ones that I, am, that I am interested in are kind of expensive. Okay, so last thing, let's take a look at the uh, Idrusan's attendance event. So we're ready to claim the next reward. So calendar 2 and stamp 27. Formula's Eyes beauty coupon. Frenzied and Idrusan's support selection box. So let's go ahead and claim this reward. And we'll open up this box. So this will let you pick one of three boxes. The, f the first one over here is a combat two times EXP potion and comprehensive recovery potion support box. A box that contains um, two... Uh, a box that contains a... Combat 2 times EXP potion for 30 minutes, you get 5 of those. And Comprehensive Recovery 2000 potion, you get 5 of those. The items inside will expire after 15 days and are not tradable. And then you also have the choice of getting the Speedwalk potion support box. A box that contains Speedwalk Potion 40% for 10 minutes, you get 5 of those. And they'll expire in 15 days. Or you can get the Power Potion Support Box, a box that contains 3 physical Power Potions that will last for 2 hours, and 3... Light magic power potions that will last for two hours. So since I do commerce law, I think I'm going to take the speed walk potion support box. I could use those speed potions to boost the speed of my commerce mount. So we get five of those speed potions. And then we also have the uh, beauty coupon. So since I'm not going to use that beauty coupon, let's take a look at it on the main site. So stamp 27, here it is. New Formula's Eyes Frenzied Beauty Coupon. So that's what the eyes look like. All right, and we will go over the next rewards from the Irusan's attendance events next week.
And that's going to do it for today's uh, live stream. So I will be streaming Mabinogi again tomorrow.